Okay, I want to do a quick video today. Um, I got a question a while back asking what I ate in recovery or how I ate in recovery. And then I never got to answering it. And then this person that asked kindly reminded me um, if I could answer it in a video. So here I am today. So this is one that I feel like I've kind of touched on um, in past videos, various different videos giving you kind of a picture of what my recovery eating looked like. Um, but I never really kept like a, um, like a journal. I never wrote down everything that I, at least that I can recall and definitely that I can find. So I don't know that I, I don't recall doing that. Um, but I do recall like thinking back at the end of like a day and just being like, whoa, like it, it crossed from being like terrifying to like, that was pretty Cool. Holy cow, how did I do that? Um, and so I've talked about how during some periods of my recovery, I ate every five minutes. And I think people think I'm like exaggerating or just saying that to make them feel like they have permission to do that too. But the truth is that I actually really did. For a period of time, it was more towards the beginning of recovery where I figured out pretty quickly that if if I ate something challenging, the eating disorder would freak out. It would just absolutely like completely consume all of my thoughts. And so I figured out that if I just ate something scary again, when those like guilt and shame and everything came up, instead of listening to it and responding and then trying to compensate, the voice would be quiet again while I was eating. And so then I was like, okay, you know, I just ate this other challenging thing. And then I kind of start freaking out about the fact that I just ate that challenging thing. And then I'd go and eat another challenging thing. So I felt like I was almost running away from that eating disorder voice from sabotaging my recovery. I just realized, like I said, very quickly, this seems to be working. Something about this is changing my brain. Something about me not responding to the fear that I would have after eating a challenging food was helping me to rewire, right? And the thing that was helping me rewire was exactly that. I was running right into that fear. I was recognizing that eating this way is going to allow my body to become unsuppressed. It's going to allow me to gain weight right? My greatest fear when I was trying to recover. And I kept, regardless of how overwhelming and daunting that feeling was, or those thoughts that were looping in my head were, I chose to eat in despite, in spite of that. And I did that again and again and again all throughout the day so that it did look like I was eating every five minutes. Um, what was I eating? I was eating at the beginning of recovery. I just remember anything that was like really sweet and anything that had like a lot of like carb, like bready carb kind of stuff. So, um, I remember like one of the first things I started craving was like breakfast, like actual like breakfast foods, like French toast and pancakes and waffles, um, sweet kind of things, like basically anything I could put maple syrup on, right? <laughs> Real maple syrup on and butter. Um, and so I think I like started out wanting that kind of stuff and really just sweet, lots and lots and lots of chocolate. Like for reals, I don't know if I went, there were periods in my recovery where I don't know if I went like an hour without eating chocolate in some form. Um, and then I shifted from that to like wanting more kind of like savory, like meat and potatoes and like burritos, a lot of Mexican food, um, like pizza, that kind of thing. So, I, and I think that's pretty common. It's not like the only way to do recovery. Some people will start off craving savory. Some people are just like, I just want like any form of bread. Um, so for everyone that's different. And I always hesitate to make a video like this because what's the purpose What's your intention behind asking me that question, right? Is it to seek permission to be able to eat more food in your own recovery? And so that, or is it, you know, I will say, you know, I'm eating all this food and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I don't, I, I don't need that much food or I'm not um, wanting that much food. Is there something wrong with me? Or I do want that food. But for me, and this is the thought that I would have if someone told me how much they would eat in recovery, I would have the thought before I recovered of good for them, but I would gain 300 pounds if I did that and it would never stop. And I just keep eating and eating and eating. And that's likely what people in recovery are thinking, right? And it didn't matter how much someone would have told me that, that that kind of eating will slow down. You'll stop craving just only processed foods. Eventually your body will figure out a place where it feels nice and comfortable, balanced way of eating, right? But I can't tell you that when you're in recovery because you're not going to believe me because I didn't believe people that would tell me that when I was in recovery. You kind of just have to trust. And by doing that, you're going to realize, oh my gosh, wow, my body really doesn't want to gain and gain and gain and gain and gain 
forever. It does have a place where it wants to stop. So anyways, a little bit of a tangent there, but just ask yourself the question or the intention behind you asking that question. Is it to seek validation and how you're eating in recovery? Is it to seek permission to get you started to eat a lot? Um, I think, did I eat more than anybody else that's ever recovered? No. Have I eaten less? Did I eat less than some people that recovered? Yeah, probably. Right. So I think sometimes it's like, really cool to be able to advertise how much food it took you to recover. And I think that can be misinterpreted to people in recovery, again, making them feel bad if they're not eating that amount, then are they recovering? Are they eating unrestrictedly? And there's just so much dang comparison, so much comparison. Or let's say I tell you everything exactly how I ate, which I don't remember, but let's say I were to tell you everything that I ate, a, a day of me eating in recovery. And let's say you're eating more than that then what's gonna happen? Are you gonna freak out because you're eating more than me? So it's just a question that I feel like there's a no-win answer, but I can, like I said, give you kind of a taste of what I ate like in recovery, and that was it. I was pretty much always full. You know, for a few weeks maybe, I started to feel like a little bit more physically hungry once I got going, like once I really started eating more, and it didn't last that long for me, it really didn't. Then I started feeling pretty full, and then my mental hunger was even higher, I put on weight quite quickly, and I don't say that to scare anyone, but just so, so you know, it's okay to put on weight quite quickly. Again, eventually my weight gain did slow down, and I did hit a set point range in which I sit at now. So it's okay to gain weight really quick. It's okay to eat every five minutes if that's what your mental hunger is asking for. And it's okay to eat a lot of food after you've gained a good amount of weight. And it's okay to eat a lot of food when you only have mental hunger, okay? So hopefully these things are helping you to kind of understand whatever your physical or mental hunger is asking for in your recovery is exactly what you need to do and try to stay focused on your recovery. And it might help you to hear that a lot of people that fully recovered had to eat a lot of food. And if it does, great. It may not help you. Um, but like I said, I just, I feel like I'm walking on thin ice when I make videos like this because it's just, like I said, Oftentimes it's going to be used in such a way that someone's going to compare and then they're going to use that as an excuse to not do what they need to do in, in recovery. So anyways, hopefully <laughs> that kind of answered your question. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about as specific as I can be. And honestly, if I'm being honest, as much as I can recollect too, like I said, I didn't write down. I just remember eating so much food all day long, all the time and being quite scared throughout most of it, right? I was gaining quite fast. So hope that helps. Okay. Bye.